Hi there, Guy from Arturia here again. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the most of the included software at Analog Lab 2. This is an outstanding virtual instrument that contains over 5,000 classic keyboard sounds taken from the Arturia V collection. The first thing you'll want to do is make sure Analog Lab knows which controller you're using. On the bottom of the screen, click the button next to MIDI controller and choose Keylab Essential. Next, you'll need to use the map select on Keylab Essential to select the Analog Lab map. You can obviously browse sounds and make selections using your mouse and keyboard, but with Keylab Essential, you can do it all from the controller. Let's use the main knob to find some sounds, and I'll show you how quick and easy it is. Let's say I'm looking for a simple piano sound to lay down some ideas. Let's choose Simple and Piano V. This will only show me sounds that match these two selections. Now let's say we want a hard mono bass sound. Let's choose bass, hard, and mini V. Fairly easy so far. Let's say I was looking for something a little bit more complex. How about a big dark pad to create some sort of soundscape? Let's select pad, dark, and let's say I want something from the Matrix 12. From Analog Lab's interface, you'll notice that the knobs and faders are laid out just as they are on your Keylab Essential. You can use these controls to change the parameters of the sound you're currently using. For example, let's pull up a drawbar organ. You can see that the faders are automatically assigned to emulate the original instrument's drawbars. In the same way, you can change the common parameters of any keyboard sound or synth sound that you select. Let's show you how easy it is to change the sound of a synth, for example. You can also combine two different sounds within Analog Lab. When using a combi sound, you can switch control between part one and part two using the dedicated buttons on Keylab Essential. Keylab Essential lets you easily transpose the position of your keyboard, making it much easier to play tricky musical keys. Simply hold the transpose button and press the key that you'd like to move to the C position on the keyboard. You can also transpose Keylab Essentials keyboard down and up whole octaves at a time, which is really great if you need to reach the super low notes or the really, really high notes. To do that, simply use the octave minus and octave plus buttons. Keylab Essential also features a chord mode, which lets you replay any chord shape you like on any single key. Hold the chord button and play the chord you want. You can do this either by playing the chord as normal, or by entering the notes one by one if the chord is tricky to play with one hand. Finally, let me show you how easy it is to change the MIDI channel of Keylab Essentials keyboard. First, hold the MIDI channel button and select your desired channel using the marked keys. In the next episodes, I'll show you how to unlock Keylab Essentials true power and create custom user maps, and also how to control DAW software using it. I'll see you then.